Prisrčno pozdravljeni in dobrodošli v naši hiši Kranjske čebele. Izjemno me veseli, da danes začenjamo z dogodkom za mlade. Kot vemo, v naši občini smo pred časom že začeli prve aktivnosti za področje delovanja za mlade s tem, ko je občina ustanovila Komisijo za mladinska vprašanja, katera predsednica je danes z nami. Kar je bil tak prvi korak, da se začnemo aktivno posvečati, kako motivirati in spodbuditi mlade k vdejstvovanju, k sodelovanju. Hkrati se mi zdi pa izjemno lepo, predvsem zato, ker je to v naši hiši krajinske čebele, ki je zgled sodelovanja, zgled skupnosti. Čebeli sistem v panju, kot vemo, je najbolje organizirana skupnost, zato verjamem, da je to resen tak izjemen zgled za vse nas. Danes bomo upravičili prisotnost župana in pod župana, takovi situacija je pač dosegla tudi njiv. Imamo pa zato tukaj izjemne goste, tako da kasneje bo gospod Čerič predstavil današnjo predavateljico, katero lepo pozdravljam. Še prej pa se nam bo pod župan, gospod Tomaš Smole, pridružil preko povezave. Prosim. Drage mlade prijateljice, mladi prijatelji, prisrčno dobrodošli v hiši krajinske čebele, kjer danes občina Ivančna Gorica v sodelovanju z APILAP, Središčem inovativnih tehnologij, organizira zanimivo predavanje, ki govori o razvoju in je namenjena predvsem mladi. Dovolite mi, da najprej zaželim prisrčno dobrodošljico izvrstni predavaceljici, doktorici Dragani Džermanovič, ki bom bo danes povedala veliko zanimivega, verjamem, da tudi novega, skratka nekaj, kar vam bo prišlo v otočnosti prav. Preden pa Začnemo, oziroma začnete, pogledajte najprej v svoje roke. Zakaj? Zato, ker v vaših rokah je prihodnost Ivančne Gorice, prihodnost Slovenije. Rek pravi, da prihodnost naj lažje napoveš tako, da jo začneš ustvarjati sam. Torej, začnite. Hvala. Tako, zdaj pa jaz besedo predajam gospodu Čiriču, mednarodnemu svetovalcu, ljubistu, svetovalcu številnim vladam in človeku za mnogimi izkušnjami in znanjem, ki bo predstavil v potem nadaljevanju tudi današnjo gostjo. Izvolite. Hvala. Lep pozdrav. Drago nam sem jaz spoznal, ko je bila stara 27 let, bila je mati dveh otrok, šefica kabineta predsednika Vojo ženske banke in njegov PR. Lahko bi rekli, izjemno uspešna punca. Ampak ne glede, da je bila uspešna, je imela tist feeling, da lahko nekaj več naredi. Tist feeling, ki je dejansko najbolj zanimiv in kot vidi bote kasnej vedli, Govorimo o sebi, ki je se to unemerilo ena v top, 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 kar jih obstaja. Bo sama povedala vse ostalo, ena od stvari, s kjerimi se deluje, recimo je Elon Musk, eno od ljudi, s kjerimi dela skupaj v Testa inštitutu v Njujorku, premagala kompletno svetovno elito v Los Angelesu, postala, ne da bi kdo vedel, je vodila kompletno kampanjo za Nova Kočokoviča. Se pravi, res, res ovlada stvari. Zdaj, tisto, kar je pri nej zanimiv, je to, da izhaja iz ene majhne vse zrave novega sada. Ne? Tako. Tako, majh na vas. In da živi v novem sadu, dela pa po celem svetu. Se pravi, lahko živite v Ivančni gorici, v Višnji gori ali pa kjer kol, na bilo kjerem delu in lahko delate. To je neka novost, ki se je zdaj zgodila. Seveda pa, kaj je razlika med amaterji pa profesionalci? Profesionalci so posvečeni svojim ciljem, a materji pa delajo glede na občutke, tako kot otroci. Se pravi, da nas se počutim tako, pa bom delal, 
Drugič pa ne. In če težite uspet, in to vam bo ona lepo pokazala, rabite delati kot profesionalci. Morate biti posvečeni. No, in ker je tako posvečena, kaže že njena stvar v srednji šoli. Ona je namreč v dveh letih končala srednjo šolo. Po prvem letniku je ugotovila, da je tak dolg čas, da je posila očeta, da ne bo več šolo hodila, potem je pol leta ostala doma in potem je vsake dva mesece naredila letnik. V treh letih je diplomirala in diplomirala je tako, da je mes še rodila. Se pravi, naben poseben problem. In ker je še bolj zanimiv, da ne glede, da je diplomirala iz angliščine in srbskega jezika, se pravi, bila je neke vrste učiteljca, bi rekel, kot temu ali pa temu, je kasnej magistrirala in doktorirala iz inženirstva na tehnični fakulteti. Se pravi, to, kaj ste vi delali, pa kaj ste, še čist nič ne pove, kaj boste bili. In zato je ta zdragena zgodba tako zanimiva, ker kaže, da to, odkot ste, kakšno šolo ste naredili, kakšni so vaši starši, kaj zdaj delate, nima čisto nabene zveze, kaj boste postali. Odvisno je zgolj od vas in njena zgodba bo to zelo plastično pokazala. Draga, ne izvoli. Drugače pa vam povem, Draga ne razume slovensko. Ne zna govoriti, razume pa. Thank you very much for this amazing introduction. And guys, thank you very much for having me tonight. We're going to talk about success. And I plan to share some tips and tricks through stories about success. Um, and since, since success is a kind of tricky story and topic, uh, I might start with demonstration. So I'll, in a few slides, try to demonstrate why I might be eligible um, to, to share my tips and tricks with you. and. Uh, why maybe those tips and tricks might, might help you as well. I rarely do that. Um, usually things about me um, are the things people can find online. Um, all I am usually nominated for a talk or a project, but in this case, I, I truly think that seeing who I am, what I do, uh, and few of my accomplishments so far might, might serve a purpose. So, uh, for, for example, I have received several um, awards on a global and European, and then at the end on national and regional local level. So I was awarded as Woman of the Decade in Social Media and Leadership um, in India. Then I was um, listed as one of top 100 female entrepreneurs in Europe a list uh, confirmed by American Forbes magazine. Um, I'm also one of the most successful businesswomen in Serbia, according to Association of Business Women, and also uh, the most successful business uh, women in Vojvodina region of Serbia as of last year. Um, as a keynote speaker, um, I got a chance and privilege to speak at some of the most amazing global events from the US and Canada to India and China. Um, because I, I, I really enjoy sharing my knowledge with other people and also I use every op opportunity to learn uh, at the same time. Uh, about my clients, uh, during my uh, now 20, year, uh, 20 years old uh, long career, uh, I've been working with some of the most amazing international companies, uh, with public figures, with people from different industries, with startups and um, Definitely one very attractive client of mine is Novak Djokovic. Um, I've been working with Nole for seven uh, years. Uh, but each and every client from every industry uh, was very challenging for me and my team. Um, and I was growing and learning um, with them and thanks to them. Um, and and uh, I do believe that we have to have this kind of um, open mind and to tackle various industries uh, through our career. Uh, but this slide uh, is something that is actually even more important than, than, than my clients and those formal um, 
accomplishments. Uh, this is a slide about my network, and network is uh, one of my strongest assets. Um, I'm a member of the advisory board at Women Economic Forum. Um, I am a national chair of All Ladies League, uh, which is um, one of the most significant uh, business women organization in the world with 150,000 uh, business women uh, connecting and supporting each other. Um, I'm also a president of uh, Women's Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Um, I'm a member of Started Zajednica, supporting startup community in my country and also uh, official global uh, Google Launchpad mentor. Um, and I'm a member of East West Bridge and many other organizations, but these are maybe the most interesting at the moment. Um, also, I support uh, Tesla Science Center at Vardenkliff, US, last known Tesla's laboratory. Um, and I, as a, a member of the advisory board, um, I work and learn from, from some of the most interesting people of today, uh, such as Mr. Vin Chert, who is one of the fathers of internet, and, and of course, Elon Musk, uh, Milos mentioned, and Nolan, and some other amazing people. Uh, so those are the things that somehow are proving that maybe I know my thing, and the things I've learned uh, can serve you to um, uh, reach your full potential, which is something I'm, uh, I'm sure you, you can and uh, you will. Um, within this few uh, pictures and within this slide are actually the things about me you cannot find um, online. Um, I'm maybe the most proud of. Uh, for example, uh, one very important thing for me is work-life balance. And when people say work-life balance is important and please pay attention on work-life balance, I don't know if you understand what I mean. Uh, in my case, that means that I spend at least three months per year by seaside or um, at some amazing places in nature doing whatever I want. Um, also, I uh, pick and choose clients uh, to work with. Um, who are met with my personal values. Uh, I pay attention on, what, on, on the things I eat. Um, so my di diet is specific in a way. So I, I tend to eat fresh um, and vegetable, fresh, uh, fresh things like uh, fruits and vegetables most of the time. I practice a lot. I have workouts and I, I somehow love to explore things that will help me to be the best, the best in business and the best in private life. I managed to travel the world several times. Um, I'm managing several hobbies um, and some new things along the way. For example, I have vineyard at Frushka Gora. I love to cook, not just like lunches and things like like that, but also pies and uh, um, winter food like Ivar, Slatko, things like that. Um, also, um, I'm, I'm, I mastered the one interesting skill like boxing and, for example, yoga laughter, uh, which is a funny way of doing yoga because um, a guy at the other side is our teacher and you start smiling and laughing before you are happy, even if, if you're not about being happy or it's not the moment or whatever. So you start doing something and then you feel like happy. So it's interesting point of view and I practiced that from last year. Um, as of three days ago, uh, it was Valentine's Day, my husband and I uh, started shooting lessons, which is also interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this year, I plan to plant uh, my first organic garden, and I'm super proud of that. Um, I practice various meditation techniques because I, I truly believe that we have to find inner peace in order to give um, to others. Uh, I got my PhD in tech science, which is um, quite interesting because I was running away from math and engineering things my whole life. Um, I'm a mom of 20 and 16 years old um, girls. I am 40. I will be 41 in a few months. Um, I'm uh, happily married for 20 years uh, with this guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, last but definitely not least, I give back uh, to my community at least 30% of my working time. 
Uh, so I support young people, students, uh, entrepreneurs, and, and actually anyone I can, whenever I can. And that's something I learned from my uh, mentor, Miloš. Uh, so uh, with all I said, I think I might be eligible to share some tips on, on, on success with you guys, because um, since private life and, and um, professional career managed from Serbia and Novi Sad um, globally is something that is, you know, it was challenging. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, and I did it. And since I did it, and I'm not very special in my opinion, we are almost the same in many, many ways, and you'll see that within this talk. Um, I, I really think that the things I can share can, uh, can support you and help you. But I will use a few um, interesting figures through my stories, like one interesting fellowship of success. Um, we'll talk about uh, one cute little bunny. Uh, spoiler alert, this bunny is going to die by the end of the story. Uh, then one turtle, uh, and then one uh, angry bear. Um, this bear will not eat that bunny, but maybe something else. Uh, again, one uh, cute little bird, uh, donkey, and the scorpio. And then we'll talk about diamonds, which might be interesting and bundle of sticks. And somewhere by the end of the presentation, things will got messy because we'll talk about crap or poop or shit. Uh, but don't worry, because at the very end of this talk, we're going to talk about stars to sparkle things up. So uh, this is fellowship of success for today and stories about these amazing uh, things and beings and, and entities will help us to understand the world around us and maybe uh, do something uh, faster or um, being maybe a little more motivated. But we'll start with one framework that might be useful for you. I, I, I really find it useful uh, for many years now. <clears throat> uh, this is actually a concept uh, created by Gustav Freytag in 19th century. He was theorist of drama. Um, and he said that uh, each and every uh, drama piece or a play consists of five uh, consecutive phases. First one is exposition, uh, part of the play where you got to, uh, to meet like protagonists and antagonists and time and place and other important details about the, uh, the play or, or uh, that piece. Uh, then there is a rising action uh, where things are spicing up a little bit and you expect something uh, really, really interesting and that's a climax where emotion and maybe tension uh, is the strongest. But after climax, we see falling action, of course, and at the end, resolution. Um, I find this framework useful because I uh, somehow, as a metaphor, use it to spot where am I within my life or career? Am I at a falling action or a rising action? And what I can expect in future? Um, and to illustrate that, because it's very important for you to understand where you are in order to understand wh what you have to do to um, reach next heights of your life. Um, in my case, um, for example, uh, those climaxes were a little bit different than in this uh, framework of uh, Gustav Freytag. Um, I started, for example, my professional career 20 years ago as a journalist and university student, although uh, I earned my first money when I was six. Uh, but for the sake of this story, um, 20 years ago, my um, play of life, business play of life started. At that point, um, I got to know some um, interesting people and amazing mentors, so protagonists and, of course, antagonists and time and place. Everything was uh, somehow setting up for, for me and my future career. And then um, rising action was uh, when I, uh, I was 21 or 22, with one-year-old girl, um, applied for a job at uh, second largest financial institution in Serbia at that point, and got accepted and got a job as a trainee uh, in PR and marketing. 
And I was doing that job like so passionately. Uh, I, I gave my all best to the projects and people and I, were, I was developing new ideas all the time. And at some point, um, there was a slight uh, possibility for me uh, to become PR manager of the bank. I was 24. Uh, and problem was that I didn't have uh, enough formal experience for that role. But I gave it a try. Um, I asked for a meeting with deputy general manager responsible for marketing and PR. And I said, you know, uh, since you cannot hire anyone uh, from the market because of, I think, merger or something like that, um, I have an amazing idea. So give me that job, I'll do it from uh, the bank and for this lousy trainee salary. Uh, but when I, uh, after a year or two, I'm not sure, uh, when I will have enough experience for like formal requirements, you will give me the job of PR manager and you will not hire anyone from the market. And the guy said, well, yeah, why not? To be honest, um, that was his best option at the moment. But I really think that was brave uh, and, and sometimes that, that really pays off. Um, and of course, I was the best PR manager that bank could ever have. Uh, and that was my climax, maybe first big climax in life. I was afterwards um, the youngest uh, manager uh, of any financial in institution in Serbia. And, you know, it's, it's, it's huge. I had... Um, very good salary, I had a million budget, uh, no, I had one million budget for just PR activities and um, an office with an amazing view and, and everything. But somehow, I felt there must be more in store for me. Uh, and that feeling, you know, when you, when you feel that there is much more, uh, be sure that there is more. Um, but at that point, uh, someone will or might say, yeah, well, it's good enough. Why would I change? Why would I, you know, try something else or different? There are so many people who live um, um, their lives more simple than I do, etc. But, you know, if you feel that, just explore that feeling and, and try to do something uh, with that. Why? Because eventually you will understand that that climax or one climax or the biggest thing in your life is not the biggest uh, thing in your future life. And at that point, I was starting, the, starting to explore new options and new fields like social media. It was 2007 or 8. Um, I somehow realized that everything will uh, be uh, different uh, thanks to the internet and social media. Uh, and I started blogging about that. And I was like, oh, they were saying, my colleagues from PR industry, oh my God, what is she talking about? We know, you know, the drill, we know media, we know everything. So this social media thing, uh, it will not last. And I was sure it will. And uh, I knew it will change everything. When I started blogging about that, people were, uh, calling me for like lectures or things, you know, like public events or something like that, because they wanted to hear um, how I speak about the things I write. Uh, and eventually they were starting uh, calling me to work with them about the things I speak and, and things I write. And at that point, I decided to quit the job in bank and start something uh, completely new. It was 2008, I was selling idea. I was selling idea about the internet and it was quite crazy, uh, economic crisis and we had some personal challenges with two little girls and you know, um, it usually goes that way. You know, you will have at least several challenges at the moment uh, when you are uh, making huge decisions in, in life. And that usually means that that decision is important and that you should definitely do what you feel. Um, and I, I, I was an entrepreneur um, and it was like uh, strange because I was responsible for everything. And then my team, 10, 20, 30, 30, 40 people from the US to China and amazing clients, you, you saw that. Uh, but then um, at some point, it was like five or six years after, um, after I started that 
uh, entrepreneurial um, endeavor. Um, I felt that, again, there must be something else and even more in that store of life for me. Um, and then I explored uh, technology uh, deeper. I wanted to understand everything, not just communicational aspect of technology, like AI, like IoT, like 3D printing, robotics, and different technological things that can support uh, various businesses regardless of their size or geography or any, everything else. And... Uh, um, that even that was not the thing for me. I was questioning myself. You'll see a few tips um, about that. And I actually realized that what I want is to support people uh, in organization to grow, meaning to so help them sort their uh, businesses, um, internal relations, um, and then uh, maybe communication to help them prioritize, plan, uh, make uh, solid and valid decisions, but at the same time to help them and support them in broadening their uh, perspective. So I, my title now and then I became a growth guide, which is like a person uh, who is by your side uh, helping you to do the best and uh, to become the best version of yourself in business and in life. I'm, I'm sure it's not the end, as you can see, it's like, um, it's like a loop or a very sharp mountain. Um, so at some point in a few years, um, I will again change and update. But the beauty is in seeing how um, climaxes of your life might be just one tiny peak and that uh, different falling actions of your life uh, are actually rising actions um, Toward, uh, towards a new climax or new heights of your, of, of your pro professional life. And the um, thing, uh, thing that is most important about your growth from that falling action to rising action is understanding what is your strongest desire. So what you really, really want. And if you would ask me uh, during the whole period of my professional career, Dragana, what do you want? What is your strongest desire in life? I would say just to you know, spend my whole life reading. Um, I could slightly change that sentence in, I would like to do whatever I want with whom I want the way I want it. And you know, it's, it's a bold desire, uh, but I managed to accomplish that desire and that dream. How? First of all, um, since I wanted to do what I want, with whom I want, the way I want it, um, at that point I uh, heard this story and it helped me a lot. A lot. I realized what I have to do to get there. Story goes like this. Um, one bunny was hopping around the woods and spotted one beautiful tree and the raven at the highest branch of that tree uh, and Raven was enjoying, like, in this sun and, you know, doing nothing. And Bunny was, oh, my God, Raven, you enjoy so much. You're doing nothing. I would really love to do the same. And Raven said, well, why don't you do that, Bunny? And Bunny said, yeah, why not? And, you know, closed his eyes, enjoying the sun, that peaceful, peaceful moment. And at that moment... Fox was somehow browsing through the woods and saw this rabbit and killed it in a second. So um, the moral of that story would be that if you want to sit and do nothing or do whatever you want with whom you want, the way you want it, you would have to sit very high. When I say very high, I, I really mean very, 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 very high. Uh, in order to e escape all those foxes, all those bears and other predators. And since I wanted to sit very high in order to fulfill my desire, I knew that I have to be consistent and committed and that, that I would definitely have to keep going until I reach the highest branch of my tree. 
And the second story is about that, and I'm sure you are familiar with that. So um, I felt that I'm a turtle. I, I really do. I, I believe I'm a turtle. Um, and I, uh, my idea of success was always that I have to keep going and winning and running over other turtles and even a few bunnies along the way and maybe some panther. Um, and, and that makes difference. Uh, being in any way unique will not be your competitive advantage unless you keep going until you reach the highest branch of, of your tree. But in any case, although you have your desire sorted out, although you understand that big picture and falling action and maybe uh, inspire yourself when you lack motivation or energy, uh, Although you understand that you have to keep going, although that will not be easy every time, definitely, there will be situations that will disappoint you. Uh, and situations and people and circumstances and maybe system and may maybe media and maybe competitors, I don't know. So people will disappoint you. Uh, Everyone can disappoint you, and everything can disappoint you. And sometimes you will not have a uh, like eligible or sufficient answer. Why would someone do that? Uh, but I want you to keep calm and to see things differently. Because when you are in a challenging situation, you see things much worse than they actually are. You are in that frog perspective, and everything seems like crazy and, and you are in that terrible situation where you don't know what to do and you are frightened and everything is, is like, like additional challenge and pressure. Um, at that point, just try to see things differently from that bird's perspective where you can see order and you can feel that things will not last. Uh, but it's easy uh, thing to, to say, maybe it's not that easy thing to do, but, but I think it is. And I will share three tips with you how you can actually do that, how you can see things differently in order to make better decision and, of course, in order to suffer less, if that's possible, and, and it is. First tip is try to see things from different time perspective, meaning when you are in a challenging situation, try to understand that situation from a period of, let's say, five or 10 or 20 years in future. How would that situation look like when you are 40 or 50, for example? Because at that moment, you will put yourself in, in future timeline, seeing things with more skills and more experience, and that can inspire you to make better decision. You can even travel in past, seeing or understanding that challenge, like when you were five or ten years younger. Why? Because at that moment, you will realize how far you went to be where you are at the moment and that actually you are so much better having more opportunities and being in a challenging situation is an advancement to a person you were five or ten years ago. So changing time perspective is useless uh, if you don't understand that you have the power wherever you are on that time scale to change and influence things. Um, second interesting tip is try to see things from different place perspective. I do that. Uh, place perspective meaning if you are stuck with a project or a challenge, um, go outside, go for a weekend or for a day, just change the environment and people around you. When I, when I suffer greatly, when I feel like disappointment and um, uh, if I don't feel um, motivated enough or... Uh, if I witness some, some not very good things and that happens, then uh, I have to travel far, far away, even to another country or different continent to change time zone and language and culture. So depending on how hard is the challenge, that far I have to go. Uh, but changing a place perspective for just a little bit 
can uh, really help you to see things clearly, like from that bird's perspective. And third tip would be uh, change perspective, uh, seeing things uh, from different people's lenses, for example. So uh, take a look at your challenge uh, or disappointment and ask yourself, um, how would this situation look like, for example, to Frodo or Dr. House or, I don't know, my grandma or, or uh, Marge Simpson or anyone else? A person, you might anticipate reaction to that challenge. That's, you know, that's a good, uh, good advice. So at that moment, you will not be just who you are. You will be someone else someone else, or you will be you in future or in past. You will be you from a diff different culture. You will be you, but with lenses of a person with different habits or ideas, um, or uh, maybe different skills. So those are um, easy things to do, uh, and they can help you to see things uh, with more clarity and to make better uh, decision on your way to, to that highest top of the branch, branch of, the, of the tree. Uh, but in any case, you might be faced with a situation that is, that looks like unsolvable, that is so hard and, and uh, so difficult and uh, so disappointing that you really cannot do anything about it. Uh, you will be in this kind of situation. You, you most probably uh, have already been there. Um, and one interesting story about uh, one little bird, bird can, might help you, uh, can help you and might help you. A uh, bird was flying around, it was winter time, and she felt that uh, her wing uh, is hurting, and she fell. Uh, luckily, she fell uh, in a pail of crap. It was warm and co cozy and nutritious pail of crap for a bird. Uh, so she felt warm and she started recovering and it was much, much better. And at that point, she started singing. Uh, one bear was again browsing around the field, heard the bird and in an instant, she was dead. Uh, moral of this story, morals of this story would be First of all, the one who puts you in shit might not be your enemy. Uh, then the one who takes you out of shitty situation in life might not be your friend. And when you are in a situation like that, stay still, be put, and recover yourself fully before you announce to everyone that you are back. So things like this are something we don't think about uh, enough. So a uh, lot of wise things we can find in, in stories like this from like our grandpas and grandmas. Okay, you can find many good things in management uh, literature and things like that. But just think about nature and everything that is surrounding you to find inspiration. And I must admit that a lot of people who put me in a shitty situation were the people I am most grateful to at the moment. And there are a few friends who helped me out and eventually, I'm not sure that was the best option for me. And most importantly, I know when I have to take rest and when I have to recover in order to continue over the end goal, over the end of the race, or the highest branch of a tree. Take your time to recover. At that moment, just be surrounded by people who you really, really trust and who you believe that actually might help you. Then, although you take everything into consideration, understanding all those falling, rising action, changing perspective, doing your best along the way, running and keep going. Um, you will meet and maybe team up with people who are simply acting stupid. They will act stupid, they will make stupid decisions, 
Uh, they will somehow influence your business or your life with their stupidity. And they will not just harm you, they will harm them themselves as well. And that will be so puzzling for you. You will be like, oh my God, why he or she is doing that? She's actually harming herself for this project, with the, which is not just mine, it's important for everyone, we have a common goal or whatever. That can be personal disappointment, you can see that uh, in business, in various teams you're part of. And at that moment, uh, my strong advice would be just let them go. Why? Um, Again, one interesting story about a frog and a scorpio. I'm sure you, you, you might be familiar with it. Uh, it's actually a story about Hanlon's razor. That Hanlon's razor is saying that uh, when people are doing malice things, bad things to us, usually that's not because they are mean. Uh, most of the time, that's because they are stupid or hungry or whatever, some really, really stupid things below the radar. So we expect like a mastermind, you know, someone who planned to screw us up or whatever. And most of the time, it's because stupidity. And Scorpio and a frog is a cool story to remind us that people are who they are, regardless of who we think they are. So a frog was like by the lake and Scorpio came and said, Frog, can you please um, take me to the other side of the lake? And Frog was, no, I don't want to do that. You'll stab me and I'm going to die. And Scorpio said, no, why would I do that? You know, that would be stupid. Because I'm going to die since I don't know how to swim. And Fro Frog said, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Somewhere by the middle of the lake, Scorpio stabbed Frog and Frog started to drowning and screaming, why did you do this? And Scorpio just said, I don't know, that was so stupid, but that's who I am. And you know, of course, they both died, but that's very important moral uh, for all of us. So some people will be just like that. Just, just go, just, just let them be who they are. Just don't pay attention. Don't try to explain, to understand. Don't, don't try to heal. Just move on. Uh, that, will, that might save you a lot of time and trouble. This one is my favorite. Um, how do we call a person who tries to please everyone? In, in, in Serbian, it's magarac. <laughs> uh, in English, it's a donkey. And uh, actually, this was a story my grandma told me years, years ago. I didn't know why. Now I understand. Uh, it goes like this. Father and mother and a child uh, were like traveling through a countryside from village to village. Um, and um, they were entering first village, three of them and their donkey, and villagers were screaming, oh my God, they're so stupid, they're walking barefoot by the donkey. Why don't they sit on the donkey or whatever? And when they were leaving that first village, father said, yeah, maybe they're right. Um, and he put his kid on the back of the donkey. They were entering second village, and villagers were like, oh my god, it's so crazy, this young boy, full of strength and everything, he is on the back of the donkey while his mother and father are walking barefoot. And then they were entering a third village, father said, maybe we, we should try something else, and he put his wife on the back of the donkey's uh, back, and, uh, you know, villagers were like, she is not a mother. She's so mean. She's so bad. Her kid is walking barefoot and her husband and she is like, you know, like a lady. By the fourth and fifth village, as you can imagine, if a man would sit on a donkey's back, it wasn't a good idea. Even uh, while they were entering fifth village, they tried to, uh, to put a donkey on their back. And even that was not a, bad, a very good idea. It, it, that was a bad idea as well. So whatever you might think of will be a very bad idea for most of the people. So they will not support you. They will not cheer for you. They will 
at most of the time find and see bad things in what you do or what you plan. But your goal is not to please people. Your goal is to accomplish your desire to reach the highest branch of your tree. So don't pay attention on them because there is no fucking way that you can please them. And leave that alone and move on just like with the Scorpio. I needed at least 35 years to realize this. Um, this is about water. Uh, what can we learn from water? And one bonus tip about that is that we can actually learn a lot from anyone and from anything if we are committed to growth. So if you want to accomplish your goal, you will find wise and inspiring things in everything, in water, in bees, in rock, uh, in sayings of your neighbor or your grandma. But if you're fixed mindset, you will not learn from anyone and anything. So pay attention on different things around you and try to find morals and meaning and inspiration in those things. Everything can be a lesson if you are committed to growth. So let's get back to water. What water can teach us? First of all, water is goal-oriented. At any time and at any point, water flows toward the ocean. Also, water is very nurturing toward its surrounding and the environment. But don't forget that in order to give, you have to be full and filled up. Um, good metaphor about that is about a well, Bunar. So if you are a well in a yard and you want to share with others, you have to fill and fool your well to be able to share with everyone else. If you don't take care of yourself, of your different needs, of needs of your body, of your mind, of your emotions. If you don't find time to fill your well, you will not be able to do amazing things for yourself and for anyone else. Trust me, I've been there many times, and it's a hard lesson, and it's not selfish. The only way for you to be the best for yourself, for your community, and for everyone else is to fill your own well first. Then water is content. Although when you look at a surface of a sea or an ocean, you might see waves. Uh, you might see some dirt or garbage. You might see clouds reflecting from the sky. But that's just on the surface. Deep inside, water is content. Water is still and silent. So whatever is going on outside will not affect water because water deep inside is always still and silent. So you would be able to manage different challenging situations on surface just and only if you find your inner peace. If you don't do that, everything will affect you and you don't have time and you don't have resources, you don't have strength to allow that, allow that to happen. Water is also very adaptive, you know that. Uh, it's fluid, it's solid, it's steamy. Water will find its way toward the ocean. Being adaptive, meaning being wise. You cannot be stiff or rigid. If you try to do that, Everyone can break you. You have to find your way to become like water in that sense, adapting to various circumstances, to winter and to spring, and to many other different um, appearances. Water is very persistent, drop by drop. Water is changing the environment. And not just that, when they say, Water boils at 100 degrees. It's, you know, it's, it's the fact, I know. But unless water is 1 and 20 
and 35 and 78, it will not boil. So each and every degree is crucial for water to boil. Degree by degree and drop by drop, accomplish your goal. Put other people aside. Don't try to please them. Don't try to understand their stupidity. That's not your thing. Just keep focus on your thing. And, you know, at the beginning, you'll notice how things are changing. You will have more time. You will have more energy to uh, commit yourself to your rising action. And that's actually the only important thing uh, on your way to success. Um, business is tough. Um, it's like, uh, it's not easy for anyone, anywhere. It's too competitive. Um, and good advice would be to become unbreakable. And you might say, how can I do that? You know, being unbreakable is, you know, too challenging. I'm not sure it is. Um, one tip about that would be become a diamond, not just unbreakable. Uh, for example, diamond is very, very strong and it's very expensive. On the other hand, graphite is soft and cheap. It's so cheap that we make pencils out of it. And cool thing about diamond and graphite, as you might know, is that they have the, the exactly same composition. So composition of a diamond and graphite is completely the same, like yours and mine's. The difference is in structure. So the structure of a diamond is solid and firm. Every molecule within a diamond is interconnected with strong ties. With graphite, it's like a fluffy little organization. So it's cheap and it's soft. Reorganize yourself. It's about who you are and what you want. Structure is within you. Composition is the same. You have it just like Elon, just like Nole, me or anyone else. Pay attention on structure that might make the huge difference in your way to the top. There is one more thing you can do to become unbreakable. Stick together. Team up on various projects with various challenges. Create things together and support each other. Because it's not easy to break two, three, five, or ten sticks in the bundle. Stick together. They will not be able to break you easily. I know it sounds like maybe idealistic, but I'm not sure we understand how being a team or working together toward the common goal, how important that is. That means that you share values, that you plan together, that you support each other, that you understand what would be the highest branch of the tree for him, for her, supporting each other. Maybe you will need to invest more time but from the very beginning, you will be much stronger and use that in your favor. So you might understand that being determined, being focused on your goal up to the end of the race, believe me, up to the end of the race, understanding that this determinism means that people are who they are and some situations are, what they are, and you cannot do anything about it. The dudes in your life might not be your friends. Pay attention to people around you. People who will criticize you, who will sometimes, you know, push you in many different ways, might be your friends. I had that kind of experiences in my life. And the ones who are saying, no, dude, you're super cool. That's so amazing. Why bother? I'm not sure that you should trust them. Just pay close attention. You can do that if you change perspective. So put yourself in different perspective, in time, in place, seeing things from different people's lenses as often as you can. Be focused on your desire 
and committed to your goal through the whole destination process. And don't forget that actually, when things are not going that smoothly, that's not because you're on a falling action. You are on your way to new climax, and you can have as many climaxes as you want. It depends on you, on your structure, determination, and team you choose to become unbreakable. Um, I know that you actually have all you might need, just like anyone else. The only important thing for you is to use all you have, to do something with it. I'm sure you're going to do that. Um, I'm already proud of you because you're learning and growing this way. And I'm sure that maybe next year we will meet and get together and that you will share your success stories uh, with me. Thank you very much for your attention. Hvala. And questions, you can have them in Slovenian, in Serbian, Yugo Esperanto, or English, whatever, we'll manage. So my, uh, my English is, is, is this street style uh, because I didn't get a chance to go to school, as you heard. Uh, but in any case, please ask questions about my experience, maybe some specific things. Um, I just wanted to open this discussion and maybe address some of your specific challenges. Maybe we can you know, go offline because maybe we'll share some 